one of our annual theme gardens. This is our patriotic garden, and it was designed by a group of our ambassadors, our garden volunteers, along with our manager, Tammy Crable. This year, they decided to celebrate America and Americans with a selection of plants that represent um, all of our country's great leaders. And also, I thought since the Olympics are taking place right now, that this would be a wonderful time to present our patriotic garden. The overall design uses, uh, sort of mimics the American flag using stripes along the border and then a red, white, and blue color scheme. For the stripes, for the red stripes, we used uh, red leaf begonia. And this is a really good choice for the stripes. A lot of times we use begonias as a border and they have a nice compact growth. They usually reach about 12 to 15 inches and they fill out in a very uniform way. So they worked really well for these red stripes. And behind them we have our white stripes and this is Dusty Miller uh, Senecio. Finding a blue flower to use in our patriotic garden uh, can be a little challenging. It's hard to find a true blue flower, especially one that's going to have color all throughout the season. And one that I really enjoy that we've used is Blue Days. This is a fabulous annual uh, that grows a kind of mounds or spreads to about 12 inches. And here we've actually used it trailing out of one of our planters. Um, it can make a nice ground cover when you plant it in, in uh, very closely, or you could have individual plants. And this is a pretty drought tolerant plant and really has just this lovely blue flower. Another plant that has a, a pretty blue color is this Cape Plumbago, Plumbago capensis. And this one is a little different from our blue Plumbago, the uh, Oklahoma proven plant. And it has this sort of mounding form, but it also trails. You can see how some of these branches trail off. Uh, so it's almost like a vining habit. You could train it up a trellis or just let it kind of mound up like this. Or if you used it in a container, it would trail out. We have several different um, blue salvias in the garden. This is called blue sage, salvia farinaceae. We also have blue night salvia, and this is one of my favorites. This is the black and blue salvia, and it just has such a beautiful, vibrant color. It's a little more purple um, than some of the other blues we've looked at, but it's just such a brilliant color. It really, it's very striking in the garden. One final blue plant that I want to look at is this Veronica. This is a cultivar of Forster's Blue. And, um, this is a perennial plant, and for a perennial, it has a very long bloom period. It blooms for about eight weeks in the summer, um, so it gives us a long color period. And many of your Veronicas get fairly tall. This is a more compact variety, and it only reaches about one to two feet when it's fully mature. Another aspect of the design of this garden is the use of plants with uh, patriotic names. This is a firecracker plant. It's somewhat of an unusual plant. It's a Ruselia species, and it has these real fine, slender stems. Uh, it looks almost uh, rush-like in appearance. And the leaves are reduced to just these really small, tiny, scale-like leaves down here, and you find them throughout the plant. Um, but they're not very prominent. Uh, really what we're looking at are more the stems and they tend to get very long and arch over uh, makes a nice plant for a container where it could just drape over the side and it has these really attractive flowers that look like little firecrackers and that's how the plant got its name um, and now this plant it, it's not hardy in Oklahoma uh, it's more tender, but if you bring it in, a, if you plant it in a container and bring it inside over the winter, it'll continue to flower all season long, all winter long. You can also easily propagate it from cuttings to bring indoors. Another plant with firecracker in its name is the firecracker vine. This is Ipomia lobata. It is related to our sweet potato vine, and it's a tender vine. It's a tender perennial and we grow it as an annual here in Oklahoma, but it makes a nice uh, covering on a trellis and it also has very attractive uh, firecracker-like flowers that change color from reds to orange and yellow. 
Next to that uh, vine, we have a crepe myrtle named Centennial Spirit. And this is a lovely crepe myrtle. It has these brilliant red, almost torch-like flowers. And it's one of our more upright crepe myrtles. It can grow to about 10 to 20 feet. We also have several different daylilies with names like Bald Eagle and Civil Liberty uh, scattered throughout the garden. As well as a number of materials, uh, ornamentation that our ambassadors made. Um, some of the volunteers made these stepping stones and each has a different word such as trust and freedom uh, to sort of celebrate our um, patriotism. And one of our ambassadors works with clay and she made us these nice labels uh, to label some of our plants and also a matching wind chime in the back. And finally we have this nice eagle sculpture that another ambassador contributed. I want to thank all of our volunteers for the hard work that they put into this garden. It truly turned out just beautifully.